Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber. Today we are doing a plan with me style. So this is a little bit different than the first one I did. Um, I did the first one in like real time. So it's pretty long and pretty chatty and just kind of a little bit more slow, if that makes sense. So it's a, like I said, it's in real time. This is actually obviously um, sped up and then voiced over. So it's a little bit different. Um, I am still kind of new to this particular style. I haven't done it in a really long time. Um, I want to say I maybe did it back in like happy plan planner days but even then I think it was more of like the prep work not the actual planning so for me it's a little weird um to do because typically I would plan throughout the day like my planner goes with me everywhere it fits in my purse perfectly so um you'll notice like little hiccups here and there where maybe something appeared and it d wasn't done on camera and it's just out of habit that I do it during the day but I tried really hard um, and I think maybe in the future, I might do like a couple weeks back to back so that um, it kind of hones my skills a little, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like that's just kind of an easy way to get better at something is just, you know, consistency is really big um, with reaching those goals or improving skills. That's just kind of something I've always believed in. So we will go ahead and get into product. So as far as everything goes right now, I am a huge fan of the Coffee Monster Co. Um, just everything that they do and that Helen does is the most adorable crap I've ever seen. Oh my God. Like my first order with them was absurdly large, absurdly large. And I actually am a part of the Facebook group. And I think someone recently found the brand and literally bought one of everything. I would like her to adopt me immediately. Um, <laughs> also, it is kind of um, a Ninja Fingers kind of brand, which is annoying. Um, I, I have a tendency to support small business. And so if you guys know of any really cute like sticker, small business folks, um, planner folks, please drop them in the comments down below. I love checking them out and supporting them. Um, as an Etsy seller, I definitely understand the struggle that you, that, you know, small businesses go through. Um, it's a huge reason why I'm pulling out of Etsy as well. I know I've said that before, and I know I'm not talking about this planner spread at all, but I've got 24 minutes to do that. So I will get it in there. Promise. Um, <laughs> but, uh, basically if you've got some small businesses you want me to check out, let me know. Also, if you are a fan of anything in my Etsy, I highly suggest that you get in there. I don't even know everything might be expired at this point because I thought it was supposed to expire in June and that I wasn't planning on relisting anything um, but if there was something that you had favorited and you can't get it anymore or you know the Etsy shop's not there please message me about it either here or over on my Instagram um, and we will figure it out um I really don't know what I'm going to do long term with that. And that's not really my focus right now. I'm really um, focused on getting the one custom I have worked on and then also, you know, kind of growing this channel and spending time with it because it does bring me a lot of joy. So there's that. That's lots of unnecessary non planner. Well, I guess it is planner related things. Okay, so let's talk about Mm, let's talk about product because that's kind of what got me on the tangent. Um, if you're new here, welcome to Tangents R Us, for real. Um, I'm an Inky Quill Adele fan, so if you watch her, you know. Uh, also, I think Nellie and Clem's kind of infamous for it, and um, Leilani tends, I think all crafters, we just go on the tangents because we just do. That's just part of our lives. So anyways, back to products. So all of what you see sticker washi wise is from coffee or the coffee monsters co i will put the link down below in the description it's in several videos before um obviously i'm always endeavoring to get my descriptions done don't hate me um but some of these are washi samples that i got off etsy etsy 
Some are ones that I've actually purchased, like rolls of them. Um, so I'm just going to go through the washies as a whole. So the first one is the Magical Forest. The second one is Fall Creatures or Critters. The second one is a Winnie the Pooh one. I think it's called like Winnie and Friends. There's Mountains and Meadows. There's the Summer Critters maybe summer something um sleepy time i'll get the names right in the description eventually uh and then sleepy time and then there's classic emojis is the last one um i love doing rainbow spreads ever since i saw her do them um and so i do one a month period end of discussion if not two um and I usually do like a full Coffee Monster Co. Rainbow Week. Um, it just, it makes me happy. It helps me use my products because even though Coffee Monster Co. has like super cute stuff, I don't always uh, use it in my spreads weekly. Sometimes I need all the space to write all the things. Um, so dropping down to other products. So the little to-do is from the Magical Forest set. Uh, then we've got the little grocery emoji. We've got the little yoga emoji. And I think that's from the workouts part one. Um, and that's all I have on screen now. I can talk more about it when we get through the like because I start again with kind of the stickers on the Thursday side. Um, I don't really put anything else on the Monday through Wednesday side. Um, I want to talk a little bit about how I utilize my planner. So in the top, I was super proud that I charted weather for the whole week. That's it's a hit or miss. I endeavor to do it. Um, it's a huge, a huge reason reason that I got this planner was because it actually it, it was magical because it had everything that I wanted in a weekly spread. And I feel like that's really hard to find or you have to create a space for it. So in the Hobonichi, there's really just kind of, it's just a column. It's it's not really separated. It doesn't really have, you know, space for other things. You can certainly separate it out and create those spaces. I did. I know other people that did. Um, all well and fine. Um one thing that I do miss from time to time is having a daily page. And I think that's always going to be a struggle with me because there are days where I wish I had it. But then I also feel like there's that pull to use it and that you're, if you're not using it, you're wasting it. And so I think that's going to always be the reason I like this planner because it does have that idea section in the back that you can use when you need it and you can date it like why not you know it's that's really the only difference you can label it I do um, if you watch the planner setup video that I posted Sunday then you saw that I put some new tabs in that back idea book and it's great like I'll do some Orlando planning in it hopefully this month I need to um and like some Christmas list but it's nice I am one of those people I need it all in one place so planner piece is hard and I don't necessarily know that there's always like a perfect fit because you as a human you're always going to be evolving you're even if you think things are staying the same you're always going to be changing things so understanding flexibility. So this works the best for me. Um, so in that very, very, very top, I made sure to chart the weather every day. Um, that second little bar down is a really great place to put dreams, um, early morning activities maybe, um, that you don't have space for in the hourly section. Um, and they are houred like zero through six, I think, or five, maybe five. Let me see. I've got my planner in front of me. Uh, zero through six, five six six is like where the line is um to start into hourly which is about the time I wake up but I'm not necessarily like immediately planning um another thing that I do want to mention is that I utilize my planner in a kind of I don't know that it's quirky um I drew that awful B. oh I just put too many lines on it like I just double backed on my lines too much and it looked more doodly than I wanted it to if that makes sense um I did another one in my Hobonichi that turned out much better 
Um, <laughs> but um, that second section, like I was saying, is a really great way to, oh, I know what I was saying. I lost my train of thought. Um, I use my planner to memory keep track um, simultaneously. So sometimes it's a note about what happened and sometimes it's an appointment. Sometimes it's a task. It just varies. Um, sometimes it's to fill the space. Sometimes I don't feel the need to fill the space. So, um, yeah, I, I just encourage you to do what feels natural. And there's going to be times where you're going to do stuff and be like, I hate that. I'm never doing that again. Um, one of those things for me is, and we will talk about this in the July flip through, I am not good at laying down all the stickers in a plan with me. So going forward, my plan with me is are going to be pretty basic platforms. It's probably just going to be a color idea. It's not going to be as um, stickered, if that makes sense. It'll be more like this was when we when I started it. So you'll have I'll have my water tracker colored, and at the bottom, I'll have like my washi down. But other than that, no, um, because. Again, we'll talk about this in the July plan with me. I don't do well with it. Um, it doesn't always fit the week the way that I need it to. And I get really frustrated. So it's easier. And it's honestly more therapeutic for me to plan during that week. It's way, it's way more entertaining. Because I'm enjoying creating and having that little small nugget of creativity. Because it may be on like on a busy Monday, like this week, I'm in the office three days straight before I'm home and remote. And that makes me really squirrely. So it's nice to know that during the day, I may have 10 minutes at lunch where I can catch up on my planner, put some stickers in and have five minutes of creativity. So I leave that for again, my personal well being. Um, and encourage you to do what's best for you in that category. Um, so we can talk a little bit about what I did Monday. So like I said, I used that little um, to-do from the Magical Forest Kit. Um, I worked on updating my trackers, getting some prep done. I was remote? Was I remote? I must have been. If I was prepping it, oh yeah, I was because I watched the Victoria's Secret three part thing. Wow, that was that was something. Um, so it was kind of a slower Monday, which was nice because Sunday uh, Jeff and I barbecued, and um, I had a little bit too much to drink. I was okay, but I was definitely very grateful for Monday off. Um, <laughs> and then I did meal plan and go to Kroger, so that's why that little grocery and Modi is there. Um, I watched the Victoria's Secret Angels and Demons thing on Hulu in the background most of the day. And I actually worked for Victoria's Secret from the time I worked for them for almost four years, I think. And I started when I was 18. And it was kind of in the heyday of them. It was, you know, <laughs> the land of miraculous and push-up bras and um, the fashion show, it kind of just, you know, 2000s when it was, it was something and like, you know, that's crazy to think about how the culture of that shaped the view of my body and the choices I made and what I wore so much more than I imagined. And obviously being 18 and more impressionable, it's, it's just really crazy how it all trickle down. Um, so if you're into that kind of thing, definitely watch it. It was really good. And then I worked out. I was really proud, uh, but that ended up being the only day I worked out, um, which really sucked. I know I talked about this in a previous video um, where I was suffering really bad from fatigue from a medicine that I was on, and it took me quite a while to figure it out. And I'm really glad I caught it now. Um, so I've been suffering from it for probably about two months and not really knowing. So now that I know, I am doing my best to try to get back to the medication that I was on. That there was no problem with, it was just out of stock. Um, so we're working on that. But um, that meant that I basically didn't work out for the rest of the week. Um, <laughs> then 
Uh, we watched The Gray Man, which is really good. It's very actiony and explosions and a little bit outlandish. Um, but if you haven't seen it, it is very good. Um, I'm a Ryan Gosling fan. I'm also a huge fan of sarcasm. Um, and quick wit and it kind of gave me it, it gives you a lot of that um, it kind of reminded me a little bit of like a Guy Ritchie type of movie so like Sherlock Holmes uh, what is the uh, there is another one that's really King Arthur if you haven't seen that it's been out for a while and I know it's available free somewhere on one of those streaming services like Hulu Netflix HBO and it is so good I love it um I've watched it I watched it and then had Jeff watch it sometimes I will screen movies for us but I know what his style is really well and we'll get to that in a little bit um So then I track my water and I won't be as chatty per with each day. I just want to kind of get through the style that I use. So that bottom row where you see all the X's is where I track my water. And then under that, I track expenses. So just like I said, any money that's spent. I was also tracking my waist trainer. Uh, This is my spread for the following week. And it was only because I was starting to migrate things. Um, We'll talk about that in a quick second. Um, Like how I do some migrating. Um, So I was tracking my waist trainer hours um, down there kind of in the mood area. I don't really use the mood area. I don't know. It. I should. I should, especially with the fatigue thing. I wish I had done it a little bit more. Um, And that's not to say I won't in the future. And then below that is an area for meal planning. I, well, there's like a sunrise and a sun and a star. And so I haven't all the way figured out. I need to go back to the, um, like, Jet Pins guide and see if there's something there. But I know most people use it as like a meal planner or tracker. I usually use it as a planner because I usually track in my Fitness Pal app. So there's that. So that kind of covers how it goes. That sidebar on the left is typically where I would track all my tasks for the week. I have been really bad at using that in the month, or I was really bad at using that in the month of July. So I have endeavored to get better at it in August and get back on the track with that. Um, So Tuesday, I just threw down a mild lighter liner, highlighted row, and then used a Tombow Furunosuke brush, the hard tip, to write in work. Um, I don't practice with that pen very much, so my handwriting in it is really ugly to me, Um, but I'm glad I endeavored to use it for the week and stick to a look. I don't know. Um, I did try to use the brown one and then immediately covered it up with black on that yellow. Um, Like I said, sometimes I make mistakes and I feel like it's important to understand that it's just, it's just your planner. It's okay. It's more important that you practice and that you get better because it's not get, not important that you get better. It is important that you practice and keep trying because one day, five years down the line, you'll go through all your old planners and be like, whoa, I got so much better because it's so gradual that we don't really notice it. So anyways, I do encourage you to make ugly doodles and continue on and continue practicing. So Wednesday, other than like the bee doodle, I really didn't do much. I was actually in the office on a remote day. It was that busy. So I went in Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and um, I was really beat by Friday. Wow. Um, so Thursday, you see that cute little watering can at the top. And then I made a work list and a craft list um, just so I could start thinking about what needed to get done over the weekend and just get caught up. Um, I know I did talk about it in the video I posted on Saturday, which was the 12 by 12 video that I had shot and just not really finished and had ready on time. Um, Normally, I try to post on Wednesdays and Sundays. um, And I was really shocked because I really have never, I've I've never really gotten off that except for series. So I knew the fatigue, I I knew we had gotten to a problem um, when that didn't happen. So I had to be more proactive about what was going on. Um, But 
I threw in that cute little update planner sticker because obviously at the end of the month I'm making sure that everything is getting updated so that I can film the flip through and I'm usually getting ready to film plan with me so it's a pretty planner heavy last couple days of the month usually. On Friday I did the same thing of making a work list and a craft list. Um I really kept it very light on Friday. I was really kind of oversaturated with the spreadsheet drama and the tasks. And so I pretty much did anything that was ASAP important and then just tried to keep it really calm, get the apartment tidied and continue organizing um, the planner and getting ready for those videos. Saturday, I haven't really gotten there. Oh, that cute little TV at the bottom. I watched Luca and cut down a huge stack of printables. So I don't, I would love to know, did anybody else get a bunch of printables with the Studio Calico sale? Um, They were a dollar and then you could stack the 15% off birthday code on there. So they were like 85 cents a piece. And I think I got like 71 different digital items. It was a little crazy. Um... So Saturday, I put down the cute little house because I was doing a lot of picking up and cleaning up before I went over to Jeff's. Um, We ended up just kind of hanging out. We went to Home Depot and a Mexican restaurant. So you'll see me put a cute little, um, (laughs) very happy emoji eating a bunch of tacos. Um, They had like $6 house margaritas. And I didn't realize it was like huge until they brought it to me. I probably could have done the backstroke in it. It was huge. Um... (laughs) And then Sunday was really slow. We met his grandfather at about 10 o'clock in the morning um, at Cracker Barrel to eat breakfast and hung out with him until about 4, 4.30 in the afternoon. And then came to my house, ordered pizza, and watched the Grand Budapest Hotel. He had never seen it, but he liked French Dispatch, so I knew he would like it. And it's very silly. Um and quirky and just fun so we had a good time just kind of having a slow Sunday and it was just very um it was very full with hanging out with his grandfather which we were very grateful to have time with him um so we didn't do too too much that day so it's a very light day um I'm going to talk about how I migrate just really quick so why you saw me flipping back and forth so much um there are a couple days so on Thursday typically is my last day in the office. That's the day that I start migrating. And I have talked about this in videos before. So Thursday afternoon, I start deciding, okay, what's going to get done remotely Friday or what is in the office that I'm not going to be able to touch again until Monday. And then I move it accordingly. That's my day to move those. I like tasks. It's also the day I really start thinking about what I want to do over the weekend in terms of crafting. So that's why the craft list kind of all of a sudden appeared um, because that's on my brain. So those are that's typically how I migrate and plan that second half of the week. Um, I've also talked about that when it comes to how I work out. Usually I tend to be more workout heavy Wednesday through Sunday um, and Monday and Tuesday are typically really heavy in the office. Um, I really hope that this video helped you guys out and I hope that you liked the style. Like I said, this is a little bit faster. I want to say the original might have been like an hour or more because it was real time and I was chatty and I threw in footage of the week. So it was a little different. So please share your thoughts. I love to know which style you prefer until we kind of decide on one. I'll probably do like I'll rotate them. Um, I'll do kind of every other one. Uh, So we'll do sped up, slow down, sped up, slow down. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. That is Banks making a grand appearance (laughs) and me removing her. So I I hope you enjoyed seeing her little fanny too. But I hope you guys are all doing well. I am super excited that we're in a new month and that it started on a Monday. There is nothing more peaceful than the first being on a Monday. It just feels so fresh and so new and I love it. So (laughs) I don't know if you guys are weird like that too. 
I know planner companies are also starting to release their 2023 lineups. So I'd love to know what planner you are hoping to plan in. Um, this is a Kokuyo Jabun Techo A5 Slim. And I am definitely planning on using it for 2023. And I will be getting the biz version, which is grayscale. So that all those like all the greens and the blues and the oranges will be gone. But I will have a more neutral platform to build on. And I'm pretty excited about that. Otherwise, I hope you guys are all doing so well and that you had a happy July and are just having the best summer ever. Um, otherwise, happy planning, happy scrapping. And until next time, bye.